going to cover the auto outline and the group features. First of all, the auto outline. This feature will take any ranges of cells that a formula is dependent upon and turn it into a collapsible and expandable group. For example, I've got a formula here, and when I double click within the cell, you can see the range here of cells that this formula is dependent upon. In other words, when I go ahead and use the auto outline feature, it's going to take this or these range of cells here and make it collapsible. I mean, as long as there's a pattern to it, because you'll notice that I have a range of cells for all the employees here uniformly placed for quarter one, two, three, and four. I mean, if I had Marge Simpson quarter one here, and then quarter two down here for Eddie, and then quarter three here, I mean, that's not uniformed. So assuming that it's all uniformed, I'm giving you the gist of it that any formula that's dependent upon a range of cells is going to be the total for the four quarters. It'll make that group collapsible and expandable. Why would I want to do that? Let me hit the escape key. Maybe I'm giving a presentation and I want to collapse this range here and just give them the totals. And that way if there are any questions without having going into detail, maybe we had a terrible first quarter and I don't want them to see that just the end of the year, but I could go ahead and expand that group. And by the same token, I have formulas down here that if I double click within that cell, when I turn on the auto outline feature, it'll automatically go ahead and make not only the columns collapsible for the total here, but also the uh, rows here collapsible for the total down below. Let me hit the escape key. Now this brings up an interesting point. We also have a formula here that's dependent upon when I double click on that, the same uh, group of data. So what will happen is, is that I'll have one collapsible group, which will be as far as the, uh, the rows are concerned for this total, That'll be one group. Then the second group will not only include, all, of course, all the data that's tied to this formula, but if there's ever a formula in between, well, this formula and the data behind it, it's going to include that formula into this group. So if I collapse this group, it'll leave the total here, but it will include this with all the other data and make it collapsible, if that makes sense. And also vice versa. We've got this range that this formula is dependent upon any time a formula is caught between the data and another formula on the outside that when I double click is also dependent upon the same data. It's going to create the group for this formula that's collapsible here and then because that's in between the data and this formula it will make this part of the second group the total with the data. So the best way to show you is to go ahead and click anywhere within your uh, database here. Then come up here click on the uh, data tab go to the outline group click on the group drop down arrow and do auto outline boom it's done. Now that seemed pretty magical, but I would strongly emphasize that you have some sort of structure and pattern to your database that Excel can work with. You can use the layout that I have here when you're creating a database because it automatically turned it into auto outline. And what does that mean? Well, as I mentioned, we've got collapsible groups. You can see up here above the uh, column headers, I've got these minus signs. When I click on it, it collapses the first group. Like I said, quarter one through four gives me the total. I expand it, it reveals the four quarters. When I collapse the outer group, remember how I said that if there's a formula in between the data and another formula, it'll make that part of the second group that gets collapsed. So we have the four quarters, the total, that's been collapsed and reveals the average. And I can expand it that way. So I've got two ways. So I have the four quarters that I can collapse for the total formula. Then I have the four quarters and the total formula that I can collapse for the average formula. And also there's our rows that we can collapse as well for the quarter totals and then of course the average. Now not only can you expand them here by clicking on the plus and minus signs but you do have their levels. You've got one which is the first level that hides everything when it comes to the rows. Then you have level two which includes the uh, first group that's collapsible which includes all the employees and it just gives us the total for the employees. Then you have three which reveals all and vice versa up here as well. So level one gives us just the uh, last group Level 2 gives us second to last, and level 3, boom, shows us everything. And then if we want to go ahead and clear it, just come back here, go to the outline group, go to ungroup to clear the outline. And if you want to customize it yourself, not go with the automatic outline, then what you could do is you can go ahead, and let's say we just want to collapse this range here and make that a group and not have all the others, you know, the groups for the rows included and also a group for the average, just one group. So to customize it, without turning on the auto outline and having it defaulted, select your range, come up here, go to data, to outline again, click on the group drop down arrow, or you can click on the group button. But when I hover over the group, it gives you a pop-up, gives you an idea. It says go ahead and tie a range of cells together so that they can be collapsed or expanded. When I click group, it's going to ask me, do you want to collapse this or group them by rows or columns? Well, if I do it by rows here, 
And then it's going to ask you, do you want to go ahead and group them by rows or columns? Well, I want to group them by columns, so I'll go ahead and select that, which means it's going to be collapsible here. When I click OK, there's my collapsible button, so it hides all the uh, quarters there. So that way, I can customize it and say, look, I don't need two groups. I just need one to hide the uh, four quarters. I don't need an additional one that hides the total and the four quarters just to give me the average. And of course, now I just have two levels. I have the first level, which is the group, and then the second level, which reveals all. And of course, to ungroup that, you can either click on the button or click on the drop-down arrow and ungroups the same thing. What do you want to ungroup? Well, the columns, click OK, and we're back to where we started. Now, I know we covered this in a previous training video, the subtotals, but I want to cover it here since we're talking about groups and outlines, because the subtotal feature not only groups your data together if it's sorted into a group, and I'll show you that in just a second, but it gives us those, uh, again, subtotals. So since we're on the topic here, before I can go ahead and use the subtotals to be able to get subtotals for a group of data, I need to sort it, for example, over here by region. I always have to sort before I can use the subtotal. I could sort it by region, last name, first name. In other words, there's got to be something identifiable that it can group together. For example, I can have all my east together, my south together. So to group them together, click anywhere within the column here, and let's go ahead and come up here on the data tab to the sort and filter group and click on sort ascending or descending. It doesn't matter. As long as when we sorted, you can see that now all the east are grouped together and the souths, okay? Then come up here, data tab to the outline group. You see it's all part of it, whether it's automatically outlined or grouping it together or subtotaling it, it still is an outline or a grouping. Click on the subtotal, it selects my database and it says, okay, at each change in the region, so here's the first, east, and then there's a change to the next group. So at each change, what do you want to do? I want to go ahead and add up. What do you want to add up? I want to add up. Let's go ahead and do the totals. So I can add my subtotals here to at each change in the totals uh, column. So it'll have all my east. Then it'll go ahead and give me the subtotal for the east. And then when it changes, it'll go ahead and start a new subtotal, which will begin with the next change in the group south, and then give me a subtotal below that. Go ahead and click OK, and there we go. So here's the east total. You can see it's got it grouped or outlined. So we have them collapsible by group the east group, and then the south group, and then finally we can go ahead, instead of getting the uh, totals for both the east and the south here, collapse it all together and just get the grand total, and of course you have your one, two for the uh, next grouping, and then three to see it all. And let's take it for a test drive, let's see if this is actually a total. So it's uh, 404,000, if I go ahead and select this range, down here in the uh, stat bar, it says it's 404,000. So it's giving us the total here for the uh, total for this group, the East group. This makes it nice because if we're given a presentation, why would I want to go ahead and if I'm giving it to the uh, South region, they don't need to see the East unless, of course, they're very competitive, that I can hide that and talk about them without having to delete the East so nobody sees it, just have to hide it. And then go ahead and expand it. Of course, it doesn't hide the uh, actual totals, but they don't need to see the details, I suppose. In any case, you've got some options there. And then, of course, you've got a few other choices here. Back up on the Data tab to the Outline group, click on Subtotal. Now, because I have a range selected, I'm going to click Cancel, and I just need to click anywhere within the database. Don't select anything, just one cell. And then come back up here and go to Outline, Subtotal. Selects it. And if I want to go ahead and add more subtotals, like another subtotal like Average, now if I go ahead and I uncheck Total, but I want the total to stay there, well then you want to uncheck replace current subtotals because this total, when I uncheck it, right here is going to go bye-bye and replace it with the average. So if I want them both, well, uncheck one, but I don't want to have it included. I want to add to it. Then go ahead and uncheck replace the current subtotals and click OK. So it gives us the average, and then it gives us the uh, total. Let me go back to subtotal again. And then I can go ahead and replace it if I want to clean it up and just have something altogether different with my choices here. Or go ahead and click Remove All, and I'm back to where I started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.